everyone my name is vijay vasundra and i'm back with your english lesson we are studying chapter 4 pronouns so before we begin today's lesson let me remind you that you have to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video lesson with your friends and classmates we are studying kinds of pronoun and we have already finished five of its kinds right so today we are going to add more kinds to the list let's begin kinds of pronouns till now we have already learned about personal pronouns possessive pronouns demonstrative pronouns interrogative pronouns and emphatic pronouns now let's learn about reflexive pronouns reflexive pronouns are the words ending with self or selves these are used where the subject and the object of sentence are the same reflexive pronouns can act as objects only in a sentence they can never be in place of a subject here are a few examples he hurt himself now himself can never be in place of the subject himself here is the object right so and in the second one she depends on herself herself is the object right what is the subject she there are nine english reflexive pronouns namely myself yourself himself herself oneself itself ourselves yourselves and themselves each of them can only be used with a specific personal pronoun look at this chart myself is used with i yourself with singular form of you yourselves with plural form of you himself with he herself with she itself with it ourselves with we and themselves with them so did you see here that each reflexive pronoun is only used with a specific personal pronoun and with nothing else right so i hope that now you have understood how to use reflexive pronouns so now it's time to learn the seventh kind of pronoun which is reciprocal pronouns reciprocal pronouns are used to show that an action or a feeling is reciprocated reciprocal means something that is done in return of something else that you have done for someone right in other words a reciprocal pronoun is used to express a mutual action or relationship there are only two reciprocal pronouns which are each other and one another basically reciprocal pronoun is a pronoun which is used to indicate that two or more people are carrying out or have carried out an action of some type with all the involved people receiving the benefits or consequences of that action any time something is done or given in return reciprocal pronouns are used the same is true for the case of mutual action here is the first example my dog and cat love each other now here each other is a reciprocal pronoun and what is the action here mutual love right mutual action and the second one is they all support one another now here one another is reciprocal pronoun and the action happening is mutual support so there is mutual support among all the involved parties reciprocal pronouns also have a possessive form for example the twins wear each other's clothes here an apostrophe is used with each other right each others to show possession 
the last pronoun that we are going to learn is indefinite pronoun indefinite pronouns do not refer to any specific person thing or amount for example everybody enjoyed the concert there was no one at home yesterday basically we use indefinite pronouns to refer to people or things without saying exactly who or what they are we use pronouns ending with body or one for people and pronouns ending with thing for things now here is a chart for you to understand it better see here for something that has complete quantity if it is a person we use everyone and everybody if it is a place everywhere and if it is a thing everything right if the quantity is indefinite not decided then for person someone or somebody for place somewhere and th for thing something because we don't know right it's indefinite similarly if sentence is negative for person anybody or any one would be used for place anywhere and for thing anything right and if it is none of all the three then no one or nobody would be used for person and for place nowhere and for thing nothing so now we have learned all eight kinds of pronouns right and i hope you have understood all of them and now you you would be able to do all the exercises and don't forget to check the description box for today's class notes as well as your assignment so students that was it for today and in the next video lesson i'll be back with a new topic till then take care of yourselves bye